Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 4-5, Dividing by One-Digit Divisors. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote for today is by Walt Disney, who's from Missouri. My fun is working on a project and solving the problems, and that's where we want you to have fun too, is solving the problems. Our learning goal for today is to divide three-digit dividends by one-digit divisors and check using multiplication. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. Learn the division song. This will make division a little bit more fun for you and we'll learn some steps and some moves at school tomorrow. Know your multiplication facts. This is so important to make multiplication easier. If they're hard for you, learn to skip count by each digit. Use estimation to make division easier and check division using multiplication. Here's our vocabulary. It looks pretty much the same, but we're really going to be using it today. Now we're ready to learn the division song. Be ready to sing. I want you to know this song because the steps are in it. So here's our division song. Um, remember that I have a terrible voice and I know it, so don't make fun of my singing, but here's what the song is. It goes like this. When you want to divide a number, Think what goes into and write it down under. Don't let yourself get bogged down with frustration. Just use division and some multiplication. Divide in the name of math. Multiply, subtract, bring down. Start all over. Start all over. As the problems get longer and longer, just let your math heart beat stronger and stronger. Don't be worried for division quizzes. You've been taught by the queen of math whizzes. Divide in the name of math. Multiply, subtract, bring down, start all over. So 836 is in the house. It's our dividend and we can remember that because we have divide in the house. We say like a Jamaican, divide in the house, man. And then this is our divisor that goes into the house, just like the terminator goes into the house. The divisor goes into the house. And the quotient is our answer. So let's go ahead and divide. We're going to start by going into the first room in the house, which is the eight. Nine goes into eight, but eight is smaller than nine. So nine's not going to fit into that room. So we write a zero above the eight. Now, I forgot to write our steps. Let's write divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, start all over. There's our steps. So after I divide, Gazenta's dividing, nine times zero is zero. Now we're ready to do the next step, which is subtract. Eight minus zero is eight. Now we're ready to bring down that three. Now I have a new room, 83. 9 goes into 83. Remember, goes into is the division part. How many times 9 goes into 83? 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 9 is 81. That's close to 83 without going over. So I'm going to follow that arrow straight back up. 9 times 9 is 81. And subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. 8 minus 8 is 0. Now I just subtracted, so I'm ready to bring down. So I bring the next digit down, 6. Now I have a new room. 9 goes into 26. Let's see. 9 times 3 is 27. That's too big, so 9 times 2. So I'm going to follow my bring down arrow straight back up and multiply 9 times 2. I just multiply it by the number that I just wrote in there. 9 times 2 is 18. Now I'm ready to subtract. I'm going to need to regroup because I can't do 6 minus 8. 16 minus 8 is 8 and 1 minus 1 is 0. Now I'm ready to bring down but I don't have any more numbers to bring down and since these numbers up here are like a roof over the rooms in my house I have a roof over every room in my house which is critical. My remainder goes out over here. It is not a part of the roof. It's kind of like the chimney just stuck up there somewhere. So my answer is 92 remainder 8, and I'm going to need to check that by multiplying the divisor times
times the quotient. So 92 times 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry my 1. 9 times 9 is 81 plus 1 is 82. Now I add my remainder plus 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 2 plus 1 is 3 and 8 plus 0 is 8. If my product here matches my dividend here, then I know my quotient up here with my remainder, 92 remainder 8, is correct. 616 divided by 8. Pause, work it out. Remember to write down the hints, sing the song, and write down the steps along the side of your paper. Then don't forget, to practice the strategies that we used in the example. You can always go back and look at your example to remind you how to do it. Push play when you're ready. Did you write 77? Let's see how we did that. So we're gonna start with eight. Remember, that's our divisor. And he's going to go into the house. So he goes into the first room, six. But six is smaller than eight, so eight can't fit into that room. So we're gonna put a zero above it. Can't go in there. So eight times zero, which is the next step. Always draw that multiplication symbol there. It will remind you to what to multiply. Eight times zero is zero. Now we're gonna subtract. Six minus zero is six. Now we're going to bring down the next number. 1. So we're in our next room, which is 61. It's bigger than 8, so we can definitely go in that room. So I'm kind of thinking, let's see, 8 goes into 61, hmm, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64, that's too big. So let's go back to 8 times 7, 8 times 7 is 56. And we'll regroup here so that we can subtract. Five, 11 minus six is five, and five minus five is zero. So I'm ready for my next step, which is to bring down that six, draw that arrow there so you don't forget where to bring it down. Keeps my numbers lined up really nicely too. There's my next room, 56. Eight will go into 56 because 56 is greater than eight. Let's see, eight times six was 48, eight times seven was 56. So we follow our bring down arrows straight back up and write our number right above that room. Eight times seven is 56. Six minus six is zero and five minus five is zero. We don't have any remainders and we don't have anything else to bring down, so we are finished and ready to check. We're never really finished until we check. So here's our checking. 77 times eight, because we just multiply the numbers on the outside of the house, our divisor and our quotient. Eight times seven is 56, carry my five. Eight times seven is 56 plus five is 61. And remember, if this answer here, our product, is the same as our dividend, we know we got our answer right. It's not like digital root checking, which you could use to check division. But digital root checking won't catch whether or not you add zeros in correct places. We want to make sure we have our zeros in the correct places too, so we can actually cross that off. Our answer is 77. Brian and Scott decided to celebrate their birthdays together at Worlds of Fun. They each invited three friends to join them. Scott's mom brought 432 cupcakes for all of the boys at the party to share equally. How many cupcakes did each boy eat? Yum! How crazy is this word problem? Maybe it's not exactly real world, but it is a lot of fun at least. Go ahead and see if you can figure out what your divisor would be and what your dividend is, and then do your division problem. Push play when you've checked it and you're ready to hear the answer. Did you write 54? That's a lot of cupcakes for those boys to eat. Let's see how we got that answer. 
432 is my dividend because that's how many cupcakes there are in all and I know that I'm dividing them into equal groups for the boys. The question is, what is my divisor? Well, I have Scott and Brian and they each have three friends. So three times two is six plus Brian and Scott is eight. So I'm gonna divide this by eight. If you needed to draw a picture to figure out how many people were at that party, that would be okay too. Now, let's draw our steps down the side. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, start all over. Okay, so we're gonna go into our first room, and the first room is a four. Will eight fit into a four? No way, four is smaller than eight. That room is too small for the eight. So let's put a zero above it. 8 times 0 is 0. Now I'm subtracting. 4 minus 0 is 4. Now I'm ready to bring down my 3. Now I'm doing my gazentas again. My grandmother used to ask me, Rebecca, do you know your gazentas? And I would say, no, I don't know my gazentas. And she would say, well, how many times does 8, how many times 8 goes into 43? That's your gazenta. Eight goes into 43, which is also your division part of your problem. Hmm, eight times six is 48, that's too big. Eight times five is 40, that'll fit in there. So eight times five. Eight times five is 40. Now I'm ready to subtract. Three minus zero is three. Four minus four is zero. And now I'm ready to bring down. Bring that two all the way down to that room down there. 32 is my new room. Eight, gazenta, 32. Hmm, eight times three is 24. Eight times four is 32. So I follow my bring down arrow straight back up. Eight times four is 32. 32 minus 32 is zero. I'm at that bring down step again, but I don't have anything to bring down, and that means I'm finished. I have zero remainders here, so I don't write anything up here because you don't write if you have nothing left over. I wouldn't say, for dinner, I had five hot dogs and nothing left over. We just say, I had five hot dogs. So let's check it over here. 54 times 8 because we're number, multiplying the numbers outside the house. My favorite part of the lesson, challenge yourself. Molly, Benito, Bailey, and Peyton, and Madeline participated as a team in a dance-a-thon to support their favorite charity. They danced for all of the nine-hour contest. If they earned $2,259 in all, how much money did they earn for each hour of the dance-a-thon? Now this is a challenge problem because in today's lessons we divided three digits by one digit. So now you're dividing four digits by one digit. It's the same process, you're just gonna work for a little bit longer. It's not any more difficult. You're just going through the process one more time. Write your answer in your flip journal and show your work. Come back tomorrow and be ready to check your answer. Tomorrow we're going to be comparing our answers with other people's answers and trying to convince them that our answer is the right one. It's called our peer collaboration work. Let's go to the finishing up slide. Go ahead and review your learning goals. I know this is a tough lesson if this is the first time you really worked with division. We started with some pretty big numbers. But the thing about division is that it doesn't get harder as you get more numbers. It just takes another time of going through the steps. So don't let bigger numbers freak you out. You're still just dividing by one digit and we'll do that until you get it. Go ahead and write down if you think you're at a one, a two, or a three level in your learning. And then make sure that you wrote down any questions that you have. Um, you have completed lesson 4-5, dividing by one digit divisors. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.